Thank you for agreeing to meet with me. Perhaps you have already guessed what I wish to discuss. The word Capitale does not mean anything to you? Huh. Huh. For some time now, the organization that I represent has been using a unique system of exchange for our more sensitive business dealings. This we call Capitale. Private bonds with their value guaranteed by the reputation and considerable resources of my employer. It's a more uh, civilized way of doing things. Until every cutthroat and gutter trash got their filthy hands on them, it cannot be allowed to continue. The value of Capitale depends on a certain exclusivity. Understand? Come. I don't know how much you have heard of our ambitious new senator, Anton Ricard. He's an officious, naive man who has yet to learn how politics work. But his grand plans to make Le Moyne the star of the next year's state fair in Sacramento. He has also been making life very difficult for us. Come on. Ah, excuse me for a moment. Oh, forgive me, Signor. I thought we'd be meeting alone. Who is this? He was just arrested by one of my men in the old quarter. I thought you might be interested to see what they found in his possession. How did you come by this? You stole it, yes? No, no. Please, Senor. Senor Martelli. Do not speak I, my name, I, Porco. I found it. I swear to you, I On did. On your knees. I did. I found it. I did. On your knees. I swear to you. No, no, please. I, Where did you steal it? I, I promise you that I didn't steal it. I will ask you only one more time. Where did you steal it? From some of the Cornwalls, boys. Le Leviticus Cornwall. <laughs> Thank you, Chief. I trust this man will face the full penalty of the law. Most assuredly, Signor. Good. Proceed. Was there uh, anything else? No, I think that was enough, don't you? Yes, sir. So, to my proposition. You will find bills like that one as far from here as New Austin, if you know where to look. I need every piece of Capitale taken out of circulation and returned to me. I warn you, some of this work will require a strong constitution. In return, I will reward you with a unique business opportunity involving our friend, the Senator Ricard. But that is for later. I wish to see the quality of your work before I reveal my hand. I'm sure you understand. Now, it is best we do not meet again. All further communication will be through my intermediaries. Some of them are friends of yours already. I believe Mr. Foreman, Mr. Langton. In any case, bring them enough capital to impress me, and I assure you, it will be worth your while. Now, if you excuse me, buona caccia. Mask. Do you do children parties too? Right, Capitali then. I know the deal. You want what's in the letter? You need Capitali. All right. So, take a look at this here. Uh, from Martelli. Ah, uh, don't worry. Sure, I couldn't have read it even if I wanted to. <laughs> this one's all yours. Yeah, good luck now. Senator Ricard, you recall we spoke of him? The man who has so foolishly been trying to make his reputation at the expense of my employer. He wishes to put himself and his beloved Lemoyne in the headlines of next year's Centennial State Fair in Sacramento. And he has devised quite the centerpiece. Three of the world's most famous jewels brought together for a single exhibit. Except we will ensure they never meet. One by one, as they are taken west, you will find them, you will procure them, and if you value my friendship as highly as you should, you will bring them to me. Today's prize, the Covington Emerald. It was found some years ago on the island of Guarma and procured by Mr. Luther Covington, the steel magnet. Like all your philanthropists, Mr. Covington is hungry for publicity. 
So he was only too happy to offer his prize jewel to the state's family. It is traveling west by train under the protection of the San Denis Police Department. You should expect the area to be under very careful guard. Though I recommend you speak to the station clerk. He is a man who is keen to help our organization.
Incredible! The look on Covington's face when he hears about this would be just as priceless. Until the next job, adios.